hello beautiful people welcome to my channel it's your girl candy and today we are going to be trying out the new fenty concealer so i've already gone ahead and did my eyes and brows off camera because i really just wanted to focus on the skin and the concealer in this video so for today's video i really just wanted to see how the fenty concealer would work with my born your way foundation so i'm gonna keep that part pretty consistent so the first step is i'm gonna go in with my Too faced hangover rx face primer you guys already know if you watch any of my other videos that i really really love this primer it's very hydrating but it doesn't make you feel shiny and then i'm gonna go in with one pump of my born your way foundation also by Too faced and this is in the color spice rum so i'm actually doing this like with natural light so we'll see how it comes out hopefully hopefully it'll be nice so for any of you guys who don't already know this, Fenty, when releasing the concealer, is basically made the numbers coordinate with your Fenty foundation shade. So if you know your foundation shade, then you can automatically just pull that color in your concealer and it'll be a complementing color. So I have to be honest, I have not used Fenty's foundation in a while. And when I went into the store, I could not remember my Fenty shade. So I tried like a bazillion concealers while I was there because there's so many shades available, which is amazing. And there's so many undertones, which is also really, really awesome. And I love that about Fenty, how inclusive they are. So I brought home the shade 440. Um, and this is basically how it comes packaged in your standard Fenty packaging. The container itself looks very reminiscent of the Pro Filter Eye Primer, which again is something I use every day. So I really like this particular packaging. Now, what I will say in using this is I did use, I've used it now twice and this will be the third time applying it. The first time I applied it, I used my beauty blender. So I kind of did it the way that I do my Born Your Way um, concealer. And that is by just applying a lot, letting it dry down and, and then blending it out. So I tried two ways. I did the one side where I blended with my beauty blender right away. And then I used the other side where I let it dry down and then blend it with my beauty blender and set with powder for both what i will say is with that technique i got i was i had more creasing on the side that i allowed to dry down okay that makes kind of that kind of makes sense because the texture of this con concealer is very creamy but on the side that i i did blend in with the sponge right away and then set it was less creasing but it's still was very very creasy like i was not happy with it so the other day i decided to kind of try the way that rihanna does it which is to use a brush and i like that method a lot better so that's what we're gonna do today so I'm a little bit goes a very long way so you don't need a lot 16 so it's a smaller dome shaped mac blush brush and i think this way of doing it is really good. So I'm just gonna take that and start pressing in that concealer. Now, what I will say also is that the color that I ended up bringing home, I think it's a little orange. Like it looks really good on camera, but in person, it's just a little orange. Like. I'm thinking maybe I could have done one shade lighter. So as you can see, that applied really effortlessly. The coverage is great. Like you don't need a lot and the coverage is really, really good. I'm just gonna go in and add just a little bit more to that inner tear duct. So that is also a benefit is that, again, you're going to get a lot of bang for your buck in the fact that you don't have to use as much concealer to cover your areas of concern. So like if you have really, you know, noticeable hyperpigmentation, this is going to be a really good concealer for you. So that's the concealer by itself. Now, another suggestion would be to set it right away so that you don't keep creasing. My wet beauty blender with a little bit of the Laura Mercier powder, and I'm gonna pat that under the eye to set it right away. So Fenty did release a Pro Filter setting powder as well with this launch of the collection. 
but I had just purchased the brand new thing of powder and I also like to try things and incorporate it into my routine so that I can actually see what it is that's making the difference is it the concealer or is it the powder so in this case I'm actually using like I said my current routine and just popping in a different concealer side of my face is with concealer and powder and then this side is without I think it looks great and I love the brightness that it brings to the face like it's really nice so again I'm just gonna draw like that like star starburst I guess you could say I will say that I definitely feel like the coverage is so good on this concealer that if you're a full coverage girl you're gonna love this so this is powdered and then this is not what this is without powder pretty nice right and now I'm gonna take a little bit of powder and powder this side if you're following me on Instagram you already know that I'm trying out a new brow product for you guys as well like Urban Decay released a whole new system of brow products and so I'm also I've also been trying that out and if you follow me on Instagram you can check out my IGTV video, which is just me getting dressed in the morning and I wanted to share with you guys the new products and kind of give you a first impression. So pop over to Instagram, it's at Candy's Land and check that video out as well. I did use the brow products today and what I will say is it's a little bit more effort. It's a little bit more effort to get them on, but it looks really, it re really does look great. Like they wear really well. And it lasts, I think, a little bit longer than like my Anastasia powder. Anastasia, Anastasia powder. So what do you think? I think that looks great. So I'm gonna go ahead and finish up my face and apply my blush and everything. And then I'm gonna come back to you guys with my final impressions on the concealer. Okay guys, so final impressions. I have to say, I really do like the Fenty concealer i think that the color range is so inclusive that everybody can find a shade for them no matter how light or dark you are on the spectrum which is kudos kudos to fenty for just making sure everyone is included i think that the price point is actually really good i think this one was hold on there's about a couple things that's for so let's see um the concealer was $26, which I think is actually a really good price point. Well, guys, I hope that you enjoyed this little first impression slash tutorial. If you did, don't forget to click the subscribe button down below. And if you press the notification bell, YouTube will let you know each and every time I upload a new video. Don't forget to go live life out loud and then come back and tell your girl all about it. I love you guys. Be blessed.